here god is speaking all right to the people of israelites god says you your children and the children after them may fear the lord your god as long as you live as long as you live you have to fear the lord okay how the answer is in the next word by keeping all his decrees and commands that i give you if i if you fear me you have to keep my commandments if you fear god you have to follow the commandments of the lord and the outcome will be that you may enjoy long life okay you will have life and life long life that is the outcome but what you and i need to do is to follow and keep the commandments number 1 if you fear the lord you have to follow the commandments of the lord easy right so how many commandments do we have in the bible 10 commandments is that right 10 commandments yeah in the old testament god gave almost around 613 commandments how much 613 commandments small commandments tiny bit of commandments here and there through moses through prophets you know all together it's around 613 commandments and the major commandments were 10 commandments right you guys know 10 commandments yeah 10 commandments if i ask you will you be able to tell all 10 yeah what is the first commandment you shall have no other gods before me okay number 1 number 2 you shall have no idols right number 3 you shall not take the name of the lord your god in vain number 4 keep the sabbath day holy number 5 honor your father and mother number 6 you shall not murder number 7 you shall not commit adultery number 8 you shall not steal number 9 you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor number 10 you shall not covet so these are the 10 commandments the god has given to us through moses okay and how many commandments did jesus cut short those 10 and gave us two commandments right so it was 613 then became major 10 commandments and jesus cut short everything for us to follow only how many commandments two commandments what are they okay it says in matthew chapter 22 verse 36 to 40 and uh, jesus was asked teacher what is the greatest commandment in the law jesus replied love the lord your god with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind right in the mark uh, gospel it adds and with all your strength this is the first and greatest commandment and the second is like it love your neighbor as yourself two commandments one love god with all your heart all your soul all your mind and all your strength four okay fear of the lord is to follow his commandments and what are these commandments two commandments love god first and the second commandment is love others as you love yourself just two commandments and by in, in mark it says there is no other greater commandments than these that's it okay you don't need to follow all the 613 commandments rather just follow two commandments and all the law of moses all the words of prophets hangs on to these two commandments how easy jesus has made for us right what do you need to do love god with all your heart love god with all your soul love god with all your mind love god with all your strength and love others simple as that if you follow these commandments you fear the lord number 1 how do we love god with all our hearts okay when we talk about heart we are not talking about a physical heart where you got like four chambers of the heart to atria to ventricles we are not talking about that we talking about the control system of a body bible tells us within heart you have the springs of life coming out of it springs of life so you have good things coming out of your heart 
all right and inside the heart you also have bad evil things coming out so bible tells us your heart you should guard your heart because there are a lot of evil things inside and at the same time you have life inside springs of life comes from your heart so the control system of our being is the heart you understand know what i mean so that's how god wants us to love me with full of your heart everything in your heart love right that's loving god with full of our heart so it is the control center it is a decision making process everything you decide to do things comes from your inner being which is your heart number 1 number 2 what is soul love god with all your soul what is soul what is soul atma tamil la sollu atma apdi sollu soul is your identity right in 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 the root word of uh hebrew it says it is a breath of god when adam was made god breathed his breath into his nostrils and he became a human being that is the soul part right your identity your character your personality your willingness willing to do good bad comes from the soul part right so, but we have to love god with everything that he has gifted us with our passion our feelings our will our desire that is loving god how do we do that we worship god together if you are gifted you are talented certain things you worship god with the gifts and talents that he has given you you worship god with the passion that god has given you You, you guys know that i work as a physiotherapist my slots will be pretty full back to back morning till evening will be tired but what is pushing me to do to see my patients make them better is the passion and the desire worshiping god through everything that you have inside of you number 3 love your god with all of your mind mind when we talk about mind what we do with our minds shawn what we do with our minds how do we worship god with our minds hmm when i ask you question what you are doing in your mind you are thinking what to answer right so in the mind what we do we think we plan we to target so we need to worship god love god with all our thoughts not unwanted thoughts evil thoughts displeasing thoughts what is running in your mind at this age mix of everything is running in our minds right yeah good bad evil no fall filthy everything runs in our mind but how do we worship god avoid those thoughts bible tells us very clearly what we need to think in philippians chapter 4 verse 8 it says finally brethren what so ever things are true what is true the word is true think of the word that is true what so ever things are honest what so ever things are just what so ever things are pure what so ever things are lovely what so ever things that are good report if by any virtue and if there be any praise bible says think of these things one time i was very badly battling in my mind a lot of things were running in my mind i don't know what i'm thinking i think that is impossible and i think that there are things that are impossible i think that also so everything was running in my mind i was battling in my mind i was thinking why this is coming into my mind Then one of my friends suggested bro you should not think whatever you feel like you're thinking you should make a wall with your thoughts and he gave me this verse philippians 4:8 
then I decided whenever bad thoughts come into my mind or whenever evil thoughts come into my mind, bad desires come into my thoughts, I tell, no, I shouldn't do that. Because Jesus has given us a word what we need to think. We need to think what is true. The word is true. Think of the word. Think of the things that are honest. Think of the things that are just. Think of things that are giving a virtue into our lives. Where we can build up. Not going down. Not taking a back step. But going forward. With God. All things are possible. When we love God with our, all our minds. Every thought is put into worshipping God. Number three. Number four. With all our strength. How do we love God with all our strength? How do we love God? With our bodies. Submitting ourselves as a living sacrifice unto God. We could be weak. We might be weak. We might be strong. We could be healthy. Unhealthy. Sound. Defective. But we have to give ourselves unto God. That's how we love God. How do we love God? We love God with all our heart. Number one, with your decision making, with a center point. Number two, love God with all your what? Soul, which is your personality, your character, your identity, okay, your passion, your desires, your will. Worship God. Love God. Number three, worship God with all your mind your thoughts good thoughts biblical thoughts honest thoughts something to be virtue of something to be praised of number four worship god with all your strength go for god reach out for god amen when we follow these commandments we fear god and number five love others as we love ourselves do we hurt ourselves Do you think like Sean will beat himself like that? No. No, right? Kevin will not beat himself. Nobody beat ourselves, right? Because we don't want to hurt ourselves. We love ourselves. We don't take a knife and put somewhere in our body. Nothing. We don't do that. Because we love our body. And similarly, we have to love others. Others. Okay? Commandment number one. Love God with all your heart, all your mind, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Number two, love others. Right? When we love, we follow God. We fear God. All right. Number two. Second point to remember. Let's take, turn our Bibles to Proverbs chapter 8 verse 13. Proverbs chapter 8 verse 13. David, you have taken it. You are searching your phone for a Bible verse, right? Yeah, come on, David. Proverbs 8.13. Taken. Proverbs next to Psalms. Before Exodus. Chapter 8, verse 13. Ah, how do we fear the Lord? Number two, to hate evil. All right. So nobody loves evil. Correct. So we have to hate evil. What are the evil? The verse says, "I hate pride, arrogance, evil behaviors, perverse speech." I think I guess nothing comes out of our mouth like that, right? No perverse speech, no bad words. No bad behaviors, no arrogance, no pride. Bible tells us in Galatians there are a lot of other stuff. Evil stuff, sexual immorality, impurity, idolatry, witchcraft, debauchery, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfishness, dissensions, factions, envy, drunkenness, argies, proverbs, we see haughty eyes, proud eyes, speaking lies. Hands that makes war, bloodshed, heart that devises wicked, planning bad things, feet that goes into evil, 
a false Allah, a false witness are creating a conflict. All these are evil things that God tells us in the Bible. What we need to do? Hate evil. Right? So when we hate evil and when we follow the commandments of the Lord, and that is the true fear of the Lord. What is number one? What is the fear of the Lord? Number one? I want Sean to answer number one. What is number one? Hmm? What is number two? Come on, Sean. Number one is to follow the commandments of the Lord, which is love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength, and love others. Number two is to hate evil. So good and evil will never be together. You do good, follow the commandments of the Lord. And you hate evil. When you hate evil, that's it. You do good. You think doing evil and doing good can be balanced? No way. Don't think that I will do all kinds of evil and I will also do all good. No. So you should do either one thing. Hate evil, love God, okay, or hate God and love evil. But truly, the word says the fear of the Lord is to keep the commandments of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Only then we will have the fear. David said, I put the word of God in my heart. I follow the commandment of the Lord so that I will not sin against God. Yes? yes. Right? right? So the fear of the Lord is to follow His commandments and to hate evil. Amen? Come, let's stand up. I'm done. If you truly want to believe God, if you want to truly fear the Lord, you must do two things. Love God, love others, and hate evil. Close our eyes and say, Lord Father God, we thank you for the word. Thank you for speaking to us, Lord. Help us to love you with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our mind, and with all of our strength. And help us to love others. And at the same time, Lord, help us to hate evil. There are so many evil things around us, Lord, in this world, O oh Father. But help us, Lord, to hate evil, O oh Father. Everything, O oh Father. The lofty eyes, the pride eyes, the perverse language. Lord, the hatred, jealousy, arrogance, bad behaviors. Filthy languages. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray that it will be rebuke the outer of Father God. Rebuke it in the name of Jesus from our youth, O oh Father. I pray that, Lord, you will cover them with your precious blood. Protect them, Lord. But I pray that the seed of this word will be planted in their hearts. Even when they are in public, when they are in private, O oh Father, in a close room, I pray there will be fear of the, fear of the Lord in their hearts. And help them to love you with everything they have. Love others and hate evil. Thank you for the word, O oh Father. I pray that, Lord, this world, when they grow up, Lord, will be planted, rooted, Lord, in their hearts and bring forth, Lord, 60-fold, 100-fold, 60-fold, and 30-fold blessing into them, Lord. I pray for each and every one of them here. Protect them, be with them, bless them, Lord. Let the youth be unto you, O oh Father God. The life of their youth will be unto you, O oh Father God. Let them remember you as their creator. Who's going to take care of them now until they die? Thank you. We praise you, Lord. We give you all glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.